Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Great Perfumery India. And today we have someone special at the studio. You guys have been watching all of our pictures, the beautiful pictures that we post on, put on Instagram or post on Facebook, on even our website front page. That's the home page. So we have Latesh from Mumbai. Who's here? So he's quite known in our fragrance community. He's been there from almost a decade, almost the same time when I have been around. Uh, plus he takes some beautiful shots. He's a wildlife photographer. He's a corporate photographer. He manages celebrities. Did I miss anything? No, no, that's it. I covered it all, right? Yes. So I'm putting his Insta handle. Check it out. Amazing work done. Uh, more or less, he's a frag head. So the reason I got him here, uh, last time we did Gym Sense with Annual, this time we are doing... Niche. Niche. So he's, uh, we can say, kind of niche now, but he does appreciate other scents. So he's been avid follower of Dua as well. He has uh, done some amazing shot for Masam. Yes. And uh, Dolce Vita was, I think, one of your favorites. Yeah, Dolce, 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 Dolce Vita was one. So expect a lot of niche to come up. So let's start the blending. I have five niche of which Latish has chosen, five which I have chosen. We'll blend these and we'll make a special blend. So we'll start with a special blend this time because the rest of the blending is pretty much straightforward. Yes, so let's, let's get started. Yeah. So guys, I was talking about the shoots that Latesh has done and these are some of his work. We have put it on studio and these are the only pictures. The first one was from Shaurya, rest all are from Latesh, it's quite busy shooting. So these are all done, the all amazing shots are done by him. And I put the link in Instagram so you can check more of the work. So guys, we're back in studio and I'm going to show you what five. Latesh has picked up. I've already come up with the name and these are pretty much close. We'll be just uh, sniffing them and taking a whole rating how much he rates. So first one he has picked up was Irish Leather by Memo which is a really good leather scent. Second one is Velvet Desert Dude by DNG which is an absolute underrated gem. Uh, wood lovers must try it. The availability, the pricing is one issue. Another amazing scent which I wanted to do but he picked up before is Mir and Tonka yeah. by Joe Malone. So it is, it's like one of the most uh, oriental seductive fragrances. So I have come up with the name Love Spell oh, for cool. this one. Because Mer we use in those rituals and uh, and Tonka gives that uh, sexy vibe to it. So we have made it like Love Spell for this one. Next is uh, Ascento which is uh, Summer Actually, Delight. I just love that. So I am just waiting. wanted to buy a bottle but I feel this fire is this one would definitely yes. blow your mind because this has, I mean, the one of the best fruitiest vibe I've ever smelled. Oh. Dolce Pineapple, you know, was a little bit tame okay. one. This is like, boom. So we have named it Dolce Ananas, which is like a pineapple. And uh, fifth one is Rose of No Man's Land, which uh, he picked up for his okay. wife. This happens to be her favorite. favorite yeah. So I suggested we'll make a blend out of it. So maybe we won't use this at all, but I'll be doing something with natural Indian oil, something with... Uh, the Dior's private rose oil which sells for like 3ml for 12,000 or 15,000 so we are using that blend for now so that's what we are blending we have some Turkish rose here so we'll be using that so coming to the blend so first blend we are doing is a rose blend and we want to put a overdose of rose so we want still we'll keep it quite feminine so this is the first time I'm trying this I'm not sure how this out to be so it is quite fun if we do it together rather than you know whole day I'm sitting at my studio mixing scents wait so we're just going with uh, so this smells very jasmine kind of rose to me as of now so I'm just starting with a random base so there's, there's already a heavy dose of jasmine in there. And there's rose but this is like very different. I've never smelled that kind of rose. So we are, we just added uh, 20 grams of it. I'm adding a hint of Turkish rose. So we're combining three kinds of rose in here. But this is quite heavy. So we have to go like 5 ml or maybe 10. Right, so this is like we are documenting it so we can recreate it anytime. Now this is the Indian rose, how a plain rose water smells being pure and it's like not too much I mean this is something which can never offend anyone so adding a touch of it I have to be a little careful with this because of the pricing factor okay. now these three things we have added we might zing it up how do you calculate the amount 
that has to be. See, I've smelt all three. This the first one was not uh, my thing. Okay. Uh, first one I never smelled, so we that was the only thing which we did on hit and trial okay. basis. Rest two smells I knew. Okay. Right. So when you well, I was talking to you, you told me about a rose fragrance. So that time I kind of imagined these two would blend together. Okay. Rest. This is like the first version. Okay. We sniff it and then we see what uh, needs to be added. Okay. Keep experimenting. So it's like we do three versions. Even if I made Rishikesh or Banana Diesel Kush, Boom Shankar, so I did three rounds. 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, because we keep on perfecting okay. it, okay. right? Because no no blend is like great at first time, okay. and here like one nose testing, now two nose testing okay. is better. Okay. Now imagine hundred noses testing it, so you get like finer and finer. So that's why me doing it alone is two people doing is better than me doing it alone. So that's the whole idea of uh, getting people here. Okay. Now we just add our premix, which is the magic, as I always say. So this was around 35 we did. So we are making in an extract concentration, and we are done. So this is my first portion re ready. So I wanted to make something which is too much of rose, like juicy roses all together. But I've come up with something very white floral and rose combination, as I could smell it from yeah, yeah, here. So it's like very white floral. I think a touch of uh, coffee or a slight gourmand thing would uh, add a zing to it or maybe something else. We will sniff this and come to it and we will have second special blend which we will be doing after this. So we have our rose blend ready and guys this is one of the cleanest rose I have smelt. It has all kind of roses at the same time it's not rosy, it's very airy and floral. So I will put this on sample exchange, you guys can test it out what we have made out of the roses. Uh, second we are working out with a uh, twisted version of Alexa. Aventis. Aventis. Or Alexa. Alexa. So we are just doing a roundup of um, he is one of the person who tested Alexa even before it was launched. Yeah. So he knows the DNA through and through. He keeps wondering what's the fresh element. Yeah. So we have tried to add uh, more vanilla to it, number one. And couple of things here and there and let's see what we come up with. We'll start blending our favorite blend that's Aventus. A lot of Aventus lovers over there. A lot of Aventus lovers. Alexa lovers, Aventus lovers, CD and MI lovers. So a lot of the our target audience is larger when we do Aventus. Last time we did the uh, Elysium Cologne and Aventus. I think yeah, with the, I don't know. Yeah, and that was a uh, kind of a hit, not a miss. Okay, okay. So in this one will be also a hit okay. because uh, when I have done, when I've created various versions of Alex, I've tested with most of the elements, okay. like how batches are. Okay. So we'll play around with vanilla and slight smokiness. Slight smokiness, I have something natural for it. Okay. Let's get the ingredients here. So guys, we are quickly blending Pineapple Express. That's what we have named it because we are making it under a minute. So the first thing I'm doing is creating the base blend which contains only Alexa. And I'll be making quite a lot because we will be doing sampling for it as well. So I've added around 50 grams, exact 50 grams of Alexa 2.0 and I'll be adding premix to it. So we have our Sorry for that. I have to go till 240. So this is my base ready. Now I'll be making two versions out of it. One's going to be vanilla dominant, other is going to be fruit punch. Splitted the entire uh, base Alexa into two parts. And what I'm doing, I'm creating two versions. One is vanilla dominant. So this one is, the first one is going to be vanilla dominant. So I'm adding my special ingredient which includes lavender, bergamot and leather. So it gives it a very clean vibe. When I say clean vibe, it's almost, almost like barbershop, but it, it is like, 70% uh, 80% still Alexa but then you know to give that uplift vibe of vanilla I'm adding it right and then we are adding vanilla to it all right so my vanilla blend is ready is this one this is called pineapple express 1.0 and this is my Pineapple Express 2.0 in this. This is going to be my BDK. If you guys have tested Banana Diesel Kush BDK, that's inspired from Bodesia Hanuman. That's a really, really fruity scent. I'm adding that to it.
Right, my blends are pretty much ready. I'll be sending these out to you guys for testing these out. And if, if, if the feedback are great for both, we'll launch both. If feedback is great for 1.0, we'll launch 1.0, 2.0. However it works, it all depends on you guys. So guys, my blends for Pineapple Express are ready. And for the links, if you want to get these, the link is in the description. So we have quickly created two blends. The first one is Pineapple Express 1.0. So what extra I have done, I'll be talking after we do the first sniff by the requester. I mean, I'm, oh, it's beautiful. So Alexa, wherever it goes, it's a proven formula. It has to be good, but then uh, it doesn't have to go off-road. Say you add a lot of smokiness, a lot of pungent elements to it. Say patchouli has to be go into yeah. like my news. It is resonant as patchouli. So but it's I more mean, fruitier. It's and more, I, I, I can feel that, uh, smell that vanilla. I've added extra vanilla. That's one thing. And uh, there's one scent that I've added uh, that is actually lavender bergamot and leather. slight leather. Yeah. So that gives it a very creamy. It's, it's a different awareness, but it's a different awareness. But yeah, it's like eighty percent same DNA. Yeah. That's the 1.0 we have created and uh, the last thing has been yet to be tested so I'll be preparing. Now we'll go for 2.0, we'll see which one he likes better. So this one is more like a fruitier punch, that, that one we didn't add fruits at all. But we added more like clean elements, yeah. we'll say more clean elements to it uh, with Manila. This one we've added fruits. I think it's, both are good but I think this is better. So you are into fruitier, yeah, fruitier influence, well. you like fruity batches, so this one is uh, added like banana, mango, peaches. Yeah, I want to try the, both of them, probably, you know, this, I feel this one is much better. The one we, uh, the vanilla. what made me make this formula, I'll tell you, I was trying to create uh, Hakiwat by Nishin, okay. right, it has like slight more fruitiness, uh, but then it has that sharpness, which this one is like, you know, uh, more like, you say, you have tried try, tested this beer, yeah. our Bodisha Hanuman, our BDK. Yeah, BDK. So this is like Alexa with BDK and then there is one secret element to bridge both. Okay. So that is the whole thing. But yeah, it does have like, it's like Aventus with banana and more yeah. fruit. So you get that fruitier vibe. So these two versions we have created, we'll be putting both of these versions for you guys to decide. He likes 2.0 better. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So and 1.0, 2.0, we'll put both on sampling so you guys could pick up the samples and decide which one is better and whichever is better we're gonna do a full version of that that's for sure there are some more which uh, have been created on what he chose before visiting the studio so we'll quickly do a first impression on these the first one we created is Dolce Ananas I have the artworks ready so I will be putting it at the beginning of the video this is Suspiro's Ascento so three factors you have to rate on closeness and quality of blend because longevity we really cannot check right now. Closeness probably 8 out of 10, 8, 8.5. Longevity, longevity we leave. Uh, the quality of blend. I mean, it shouldn't smell like uh, a Latafa or Arma no, or a Paris Corner. Quality, is good. quality wise, so that's like the blend quality. It's good. So that's like the weakest scent we chose. Because we sniffed so many fruity scents yeah. right now. We just created a flanker of Aventus and we're sniffing Ascento. There's a whole lot of olfactory block because it's the same profile. No, so let's do, uh, we'll, we'll take this also as the next one. We'll take a heavier blend so that it clears your nose. This is called Love Spell and this is inspired by Joe Malone's Mirren Tonka. Okay, you go first, I'll go second. So Joe Malone's have a problem, they do not last. None of them, none of them. They are very kind of, you know, um, European scents and they do not really last. So most of the requests that come for Joe Malone make it like longer lasting. And this is one of the most beautiful blend I have sniffed from. I, I'll tell you which ones are my favorite from Joe Malone. Mirin Tonka, then our, the out one, Velvet Rose out. Second and third one is the old 153158 Cologne, the Freshies. Which not many people have smelled. But that last one hour only, but like the cleanest of all. So probably I can give it 8, 8.5. On, uh, I just need to, uh, on closeness. On closeness. Closeness only thing would be, uh, you know, it's amped up. I think that's, that's the... That's the only yeah. factor. But dry down would go same. Can't say it's 100%. 100% never. never. It will never go 
If but again, then we don't know the dry down. So you know the dry down. Takes no, they will change in dry down if the opening is exactly. there. Right. So this is the second one we have created. I have. Uh, we'll do the artwork versions too. Third one we have here is called Luna Hood, which is inspired by DNG Velvet Desert Hood. So I wanted to do more like Desert Moon. From Moon, I came to Lunar Eclipse. From there, I came to the name Luna Hood. So that's how the, the even the artwork features Moon. So this is Luna Hood. It is one of the most beautiful scents and underrated as well. But most of the niche people. 99.5 In one of the most sophisticated yes. Oud sets I would it's say very close Because I have the oil For this one yes, Exactly Okay And of course blend I could already smell it Because if we are making something which is already neat The blend quality is has to be there This is one which I was not planning to make Honestly but I made it for him If I have more requests for it We'll make it more It's called Libe by Kaltat or Lieb by Kaltat which means if it translates to love in English so this is Lieb uh, from Kaltat and here we go it is very uh, spices heavy fragrance how Middle Eastern fragrances are very exotic Middle Eastern fragrance this program can give again 8.5 Because it's 8. a complex one, 88.5. Okay, the next one is called Noah by Rosa Dow. My name is Noah, which is new wave of American heavy metal. I'll put the artwork. I haven't tried, I haven't tried the original. We haven't tried this one. But you know why the name came to my mind? Because when I smelled it, it reminded me of no, those 90s powerhouse oh. scents, right? Uh, because it's a lot of pure elements to it. Okay. So from there I came to, you know, how the bands used Very to be small, in 90s small. like Pandera, Metallica from there it came new wave of American heavy metal this is how the thought process normally goes it's very strong I, it reminded me of more like uh, the new one uh, what's that Shipwreck Extraordinary you've tried that? no Rosa. so it has got the same profile as uh, eight new already of this time quickly I'll just cover them up this is called Luna Oud which is inspired from Dolce Gabbana Velvet Desert Oud the second one is called Nuam, which is new wave of American heavy metal which is inspired by Rosa Nua these two have been uh, made on request by one of our viewers uh, who happens to be a photographer so we have given this film reel kind of a theme the making is in the video the third one is called Love Spell which is inspired by Joe Malone's Mir and Tonka which is a seductive combination uh, then we have three by Perfumes de Marley. This is called 1000 BHP, which is inspired by a Leighton exclusive. Uh, then it's called 555 BHP, which is a tobacco based scent and is near perfect version of Perfumes de Marley Herod. And this one is Perfumes de Marley Leighton exclusive. All of them are like 90% plus close and they perform for 8 hours plus. That is guaranteed. We have tested them out. This is my the electric B, or we could say. Uh, this is inspired from one of the best honey based fragrances, Perfumes de Marley Ojan. So this is like the near perfect version and it this lasts for like 10-12 hours. So people who are looking for a bottle of Ojan, this is I think a good deal. Then we have two more. This is called Dolce Ananas inspired by Sospiro's Asento, a really good summer scent. All of them comes with the dual stickers as shown and then is my one of the top sellers. In last year, it's called Red Samoan and it's inspired by Mansera Red Tobacco and this one is like amped up version to that and it couldn't get better. The blending could not get better than these and one more I'm testing right now that I'm featuring in my next video is called Rishikesh Fine.